everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Pastor Steve here walking with you in God's Word. We're in Psalm 111, which actually begins the Hallelujah Psalms. And so that's Psalm 111 through 118, the Hallelujah Psalms. And 111 and 112 are actually a mirror of themselves, but it's inviting us into that praise for God's righteousness. Actually, his gift of righteousness, which is being right with him, making his creation right with him. And he does that through his sacrifices. He does that through his promises. He does that through his covenants. We see that as always being a yes, that he does that through his son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord saves. Hallelujah. But there's also a unique thing about 111, and I'm going to have to get into a little bit of education here with you, and I know it's not going to be uh, maybe the best uh, picture of it, but uh, 111 and 112 are written so fascinatingly, um, if that's a word, uh, but being able to know that they're written in an alphabetic acrostic. And what I mean by that, within the Hebrew language, um, they have an alphabet just like ours, A, B, C, D, um, not necessarily just like that. It's a bunch of uh, different letters in that kind of way. But look at how Psalm 111 is actually uh, put together. So here is an A, a B, a D, C is what we would have it. Um, not necessarily just like our A, B, C, D, but that's what begins, as you can see, the beginning of each uh, line. Amazing how this poet, uh, this poet um, puts a letter of the alphabet as it goes right into um, the alphabet order there in Hebrew. Um, each line begins with that next letter. And as you can see, as you can page through, um, it goes from 111, uh, doing backwards here, to 112 does the same thing. And so that's why they attribute uh, the reality towards 111 and 112 by the same author put together in the same kind of fashion in that way. Amazing writing, amazing poetry uh, that just begins those hallelujahs, um, inviting God's people in uh, to celebrate, to praise God for what he has done. There's so much order and there's so much detail into God's word. That's why I wanted to show you that, not just uh, to talk about the education that I have in Hebrew, um, but being able to know it's, it's so, it's so intricate um, and it has so much depth. Uh, It's not just, Hey, we open up our Bibles and we read, there is a meaning and a purpose uh, to all these details and how beautiful it is to see that in Psalm 111, as it invites us, it introduces us into those hallelujah Psalms. No further ado, Psalm 111, Let's meditate together. Praise the Lord. I will extol the Lord with all my heart in the counsel of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. Glorious and majestic are his deeds and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He has shown his people the power of his works, giving them the lands of other nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are steadfast forever and ever, done in faithfulness and uprightness. He provided redemption for his people. He ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who follow his precepts have good understanding. To him belongs eternal praise. To him belongs, he deserves eternal praise. For all that he's done in his righteousness, in his covenant, in his faithfulness, he actually doesn't hoard his wisdom, but rather freely gives freely gives his son, wisdom itself, Jesus Christ. So the beginning, as it says here, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. To understand, to see him in his awe and his majesty, and that he actually freely gives that to you and to me. So brothers and sisters, hallelujah. The Lord saves. He is the God of covenant. He is the God of promise. He is the God of righteousness and faithfulness. And we see that none other than the sending of Jesus Christ, 
into our world, into his creation, to love so much that he would sacrifice his only son, to love us, to forgive us, and to walk with us saying, you have eternal life in the name, in the sacrifice, in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So that God's covenants, God's promises, God's faithfulness is always a yes in Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord has saved. Thanks be to God. To him belongs eternal praise. Have a blessed day.